rugs somewhere. Right. Whether it be coming into the house, a place to wipe your feet. I know you've got one of these inside of your home. I do inside and outside, right? I've used them all over. These are true woven rugs. Correct. They're and not hooked. Yeah, they're yeah. not mats. They're not plastic. They're they're indoor outdoor material that's bold and vibrant and just gorgeous. And we've got three different florals. Yes. Which I I'm oh. so ready for that first crocus to pop. I know. Show. I'm, I'm oh. with you. Yep. So I'm holding our aster version. That's purples and greens, and then it's got a brown background. And then you're, we'll show you the versions, and then that way I'll tell you a little right. bit more about it. We know that flower. Yep. You're holding a cone flower, and that's the only one that has a critter in it. So you're going to be seeing the butterflies in that. So if you liked our butterflies from before, yep. you'll love this rug. Uh, the, and the cone flower, by the way, is by far the most okay. limited. Great. And then this is a gorgeous. This Black is holly backdrop mm -hmm. on the hollyhocks. Look yeah. at that. These are the hollyhocks. So what you need to know about this is, this is a, a rug, truly a rug, and it is hooked. So you know those old fashioned like wool yep. rugs that you've seen in antique stores or maybe in uh, carpet shops that are hooked and that's what this method is. And the nice thing about that is it gives it a real plush look to it, oh, but it also a plush feel as well. Yeah, they are thick. Yeah, so when thick, you're- Thick, thick rugs. They're beautifully done. And they're done in polypropylene, which is just a wonderful fiber yep. that is going to resist fading. It's going to um, just withstand all kinds of traction. So put this in that high traffic area. Like I have it, well, walking into my garage. Yeah. We have one here. We'll just throw this one down. Sure. I got it. We have one right here the door. Go ahead. by the front door. I used one of them as a front doormat. So I love the fact that you've got something that's going to look beautiful. So many front doormats are really plain and boring. I agree. I like to just greet my guests with something that's beautiful to say, welcome to my home. And not only is it, you know, really durable, but it's just, it, it withstands all kinds of, you know, dirt and everything and just shake it off or vacuum it. Yep. I even drove on one of these with my car <laughs> covered in snow, uh -huh. was so tired, went in the house, it was covered with grime. The next morning I went out and thought, oh, what a mess, shook it off. It was you know, fine. It was fine. <laughs> now, by the way, most doors, outdoor doors, Entries are 36 inches mm -hmm. wide. This is 42, so it's designed to come almost to the edge of the casing mm -hmm. on both sides. Right. Uh, 42 inches for its width, and I had to look at it. It's 24, okay. uh, a little bit more than 24 right. inches in from in front depth. to back. Right, exactly. So I want to run through these three again. Sure. Cone flower is the most limited. Okay. And I, I'll hold so up the cone flower. You've got cone flower there. That one has kind of a teal or turquoise background if okay. you're trying to pick by colors. So also I'll look, let you see in here, not only does it have sort of like peach, but it's also got a beautiful deep raspberry and some kind of pinks in there, the different greens. Notice just all the depths of color. It's not just plain. Plow and Hearth made sure that this has and lots and lots of beautiful colors in it. It's noticeably visible mm -hmm. that these are hooked rugs and yes. not silk screen. Right, exactly. Okay? Yes. Uh, and that, so just the quality, and I can't see it from here, it's on the monitors down at the bottom, are some of the reviews that our customers have written. This became a, a five-star rated item immediately. Every single review on the product was five stars. That's awesome. That yeah, doesn't happen very often. Well, I think, you know, it's because Plow and Hearth does such a great job. They're known for wonderful quality. They're known for giving you something that's unique and different. And I love that they took that idea of a hooked rug, which is such a lush, beautiful look, and created it out of polypropylene, because then that so means you, you can, you can yeah. use it out on your back deck. You can use it in your garage. I have one, this one exactly, in front of my uh, washer and dryer, okay. because when I walk in from my garage, I've been walking the dog, or maybe I walked through some <laughs> mud or whatever, or came in through the, with the snow. Oh, another great idea is have this, you know, if you are someone who takes off your shoes when you walk in the door. Right, This is a Absolutely. great rug to put your boots or shoes on too. <laughs> were, you, were you trying to incite me? What do you mean? Okay, uh, <laughs> my, my wife is, is Asian American. And when we first met, the thought that I would walk into the house oh, mm -hmm. with shoes on, mm -hmm. she thought I was insane. Yeah. And she explained it to me and I went, well, what? She goes, this is the only country in the world that does that. People understand that there's all kinds of bad things on your shoes. Sure. Yeah. I, so shoes never get 
more than one step into the Pass house. Pass the door. That's what I've started doing too, and it makes a big difference in hel helping keep your house yes. clean, your floors clean. So why not have something beautiful to do that? This is a great one for near the kitchen sink. And too. which one is this pattern? This one's hollyhock. That's getting very, very limited, by the way. Okay, so I'm showing you the side of this because I want you to see what. Uh, the hand hooking means. That means that there's this thickness, this squishiness right here. So when you're standing at your kitchen sink doing your dishes, when you are, you know, doing your laundry, if you're like me and you put this in your laundry room, you have something soft. Even if you're barefoot, this is not scratchy. Yeah. It's very soft. You will be amazed when it's you like, get this home. It's carpet. I mean, yeah, it is. It's a latch rug. rug. Yep. Yep. They're beautifully done. They are so gorgeous. And, and as great you color mentioned, combinations. yeah, it's not printed on there. Each place where you see a differentiation in color, that is different colored yarn. That's fun. Mm -hmm. So we only have a couple minutes. Hollyhock is right here. Right. Right? Yep. I'll hold up the cone flowers. Thank you. The only one that has the butterflies are the little critters. And then you've got, and this has like a turquoise background with lots of pinks and kind of peaches. And Next this is a you, dark, it's not a black, it's a brown, brown. you said. It's brown for and the it background. has various color shades of greens. You'll see even in the center of the flower, it's not just white. It's also got kind of a little um, mustard or taupe in there. And this flower is called the? This one is the aster. Aster. Mm -hmm. So there you've got something that has all those depths of purple. We don't often have purple things, and I w know we have some purple girls out there who well, love them, I'll tell you who what, love purple, in, so in that's a, a great choice. like this, have you noticed that patio furniture has become very upscale? Mm -hmm. So now there's, there's sofas and big recliner chairs and all kinds. This now fits in as a wonderfully elegant way of adding that pop of color, and what a friendly way to just Put it, put it in a door. I love it. Mm -hmm. Inside, outside, wherever you have those high traffic areas. If you are putting this inside, you do want one of those non-slip kind of that makes sense. Um, yep. back, you know, uh, little rug yeah. backers. I, sorry, losing. I know what you meant. Yes, exactly. Something that's non-slip underneath it. So, um, but to put it outside on your back deck or as I have at, you know, the entrance of my garage, it's so nice to have something that's beautiful, something that's going to withstand the elements, that's going to be easy to clean, just either vacuum it, hose it off if it's outside. Um, don't worry, you don't have to baby the plow and hearth right. items. Uh, and I, they look like they should be, but the nice thing is they don't have to be. Exactly. That's the hollyhock that's been so popular. Down in front of me, that's the... That one is the coneflower. Coneflower. Mm -hmm. And then we have the aster, and I'll show you that. Sure, grab I'll that, hold and I'll this grab one. that one. Thank yep. you. And Got there's it. the aster. So you pick yours out. These are customer top rated. Uh, because of the amount of workmanship that goes into making each and every one, I have no guarantees that I can get these back in later on this season. So I urge you to consider what door would you like to put it in front of? Uh, how about which counter? Mm -hmm. in the kitchen, that washer, the dryer, and don't forget outdoors because they'll hold up to the elements outdoors equally as, as well. well. Yeah, Nancy, thank, thank you. you. Thanks for Always having me. Always a pleasure Good to, see you. to have you here. We've got a lot more to talk about as we continue with this two-hour edition of The Great Outdoors with Dan. From season